Metals are used in virtually every area of modern life. We often choose metals for their strength, but we're usually looking for additional properties as well, like a metal that can be easily shaped or a metal that is very light. In this video, we look at how some common metals are used based on their particular properties. Copper was one of the first metals to be used by humans over 10,000 years ago. Nowadays, copper is used in a number of applications. The most useful property of copper is its electrical conductivity. Compared to other metals, only silver is a better conductor. And combined with its excellent ductility, allowing it to be drawn easily into wires, copper becomes the first choice for electrical wiring and the coils of motors and generators. High electrical conductivity also means high thermal conductivity. That's why copper is used in high-quality cookware, as it distributes heat more evenly. When we compare the reactivity of copper to other metals, we see it has a low reactivity, making it corrosion-resistant and an ideal choice for hot water pipes. Copper is also soft and malleable, which combined with its low reactivity makes it ideal for jewellery. People began using iron 3,500 years ago during the Iron Age. Nowadays, most iron is alloyed as different types of steel. And while iron is the strongest of these metals, when it's alloyed with carbon as steel, the strength is more than doubled. Low carbon steel with less than 0.25% carbon has good strength and malleability, making it ideal for structural beams, car bodies and boat hulls. But iron is also quite reactive and it readily reacts with oxygen and water to form rust. As a result, many steels need to be protected by coating with paint or grease. Another method of protection involves using a more reactive metal than iron, like zinc or magnesium. By coating the steel in zinc, a process we call galvanizing, we can prevent it from rusting. The outer layer of zinc reacts with oxygen to form a strong barrier of zinc oxide, protecting the steel underneath. Sometimes blocks of magnesium or zinc are attached to the steel. As these more reactive blocks corrode, the electrical connection between the two metals protects the steel from corrosion. Stainless steel does not rust. It's an alloy of iron, chromium, nickel and a small percentage of carbon. This strong and hard steel is used in cutlery and cookware, appliances and industrial equipment. Aluminium is an extremely versatile metal due to its unique combination of properties. Aluminium is a very light metal, as it has a very low density compared to other metals. When we compare strength, we see that pure aluminium is not a particularly strong metal. However, when other metals are added, the resulting aluminium alloys have a strength similar to some steels. Low density and high strength is why aluminium alloys are used in mobile phone cases, bicycle frames and in the structural components of planes. Aluminium is a very reactive metal, similar to magnesium or zinc. However, in practice it behaves as a very unreactive metal, because it's protected by a tough oxide layer. This layer makes aluminium resistant to corrosion, and that's why we use it for cans, food packaging and window and door frames. Aluminium is a very good electrical conductor, though not as good as silver, copper or gold. Aluminium is used for transmission lines due to its low density and resistance to corrosion. Low density means less weight, so the towers can be spaced farther apart. The cables are resistant to corrosion as they're protected by the aluminium oxide layer. Often these cables have a steel core for added strength. Gold and silver are considered precious metals, having high value. They're also the most malleable metals and have high luster, which is why they're widely used in jewellery. Lead is a low-cost metal with high density. That's why it's used to produce heavy weights or lead aprons to protect from x-rays. Historically, lead has had many other applications, but it's now used less often because of its toxicity to humans.